Am I the asshole for agreeing with my mom that it's kind of pathetic my wife can't cook? I, 28M, have been married to my wife, 31F, for about a year. Overall, things are great, but one thing that's been bugging me is that my wife doesn't know how to cook, at all. I've always been the one to handle meals, which I was fine with in the beginning because I enjoy cooking. But over time, it started to wear on me, especially when I come home after a long day at work and still have to cook dinner while she relaxes. She refuses to cook and claims there is nothing wrong with not being able to cook. It's been an ongoing issue between us. I have been trying to teach her but she is really bad at it. Many conversation about this. The other night, my mom, 56F, came over for dinner. As usual, I was in the kitchen preparing everything, and my wife was sitting with my mom. At one point, my mom offered to help, and I asked if she could make the gravy or cut some fruit. My wife was standing around in the kitchen when my mom handed her a knife and asked her to cut some fruit while she handled the gravy. My wife couldn't figure out how to hold it properly and ended up making a mess. My mom watched her fail to cut the fruit and then blurted out, it's honestly kind of pathetic that you don't even know how to cut a piece of fruit at your age. She then went behind her and started to guide her how to cut stuff like you do with a kid. My wife kinda shrugged and finished cutting her fruit with my mom guiding her dinner happens and I noticed my wife was not happy the whole night. My mom left and she was pissed I didn't defend her, that I embarrassed her by letting it happens we got into a bad argument and I told her that it is pathetic she can not even cut fruit. She is literally older than me and can't hold a knife properly. She told me that is not the point and I needed to defend her and it's not her fault she is bad at cooking. I point out it is, and she is embarrassed because not being able to hold a knife properly is embarrassing for an adult. My wife thinks I am a huge jerk. Edit. I cannot keep up, over 2000 comments and I have things to do. If you have an info may already be answer in a previous comment. So update. I definitely think this is weaponized incompetence, I will suggest marriage counseling and cooking classes. If things don't change I will be out. I will make this very clear. Also for those asking, it was strawberries. She was smushing them and cutting them with the stems still on. Info does she do the dishes, help clean up? I don't think it really matters which partner does the cooking necessarily as long as the other is helping and the standard deal that almost everyone seems to follow is that if one person cooks, the other person cleans up. In my house, my wife usually cooks and I usually clean, which is fine because she enjoys cooking and is good, I'm okay. I can cook but she's definitely better. My mom and stepfather though are essentially the opposite. She got home from work late usually and isn't a great cook anyways, so he cooks and she does the dishes. And yes, it is kind of pathetic that she can't even use a knife. Even if you aren't a good cook, you should at least be able to figure out how to hold a knife, that's just silly. How did she survive before she met you? Not the asshole. These comments are wild. Every adult should know basic cooking skills in order to feed themselves, such as using a knife safely to cut fruit. She had this coming to her one way or another, honestly. Not the asshole. Your wife should at least know how to cut fruit and some basic dishes. She seems lazy by not even trying or asking how to go about things if she really doesn't know. I understand your frustration in your mom's as well, but maybe you should try to have an honest conversation about it, again. There's clearly an imbalance and that shouldn't be the case. Pathetic is a pretty vicious thing to call someone. Not every opinion needs to be voiced aloud. I suspect you liked your mom slamming your wife's lack of cooking skills because it felt like a win for you. But it felt like a loss for your wife, and it felt like another loss when you just sat there and let her eat that attack. I suspect the effect of it all is that your wife will be much more resistant to helping with the cooking, so this will turn out to be a lose-lose situation. Esh, your mom's comments are rude and shitty. Your wife's lack of interest in learning the bare minimum is shitty. Letting your mom insult your wife to her face is shitty. I don't care how true it is, I would never let my parents say something like that to my partner. ETA. I don't let my mommy fight my battles. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my friend's share of the bill after she, forgot, her wallet? A few days ago, I went out to dinner with a group of friends. We had a good time, and at the end of the meal, the bill came. One of my friends Sarah suddenly said she had forgotten her wallet at home. This isn't the first time something like this has happened, but it's never been with me directly she usually does this with other friends. Everyone was pretty quiet, and I could tell they were waiting for someone to offer to cover her. I didn't say anything at first, but when Sarah looked at me, I kind of awkwardly said, I can't cover you sorry, she seemed shocked and said she would pay me back tomorrow. I still said I couldn't because I'm not comfortable covering other people's expenses, especially when this has happened before. She got upset, saying she felt embarrassed and that I was making her look bad in front of our friends. One of our other friends ended up paying her share, but the whole mood shifted. 
Afterward, she also texted me later on saying I was out of line and should have just helped her out since it was only a small amount. Some of my friends are on her side, saying I could have just covered her since she promised to pay me back, while others agree that it's not my responsibility, especially since she has a history of doing this. Not the asshole. She embarrassed herself. Assuming Sarah is an adult, she should be prepared to pay her portion of the dinner bill and if she comes up short it's up to her to figure it out. Not the asshole. Did she also forget her Apple Pay Cash, Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App? Not the asshole. Sarah is responsible to make sure she has her wallet before she orders. Are the friends who are on her side people who were there? If so you can tell them that you are happy to hear that they are comfortable covering off the cost of Sarah's meals when she can't pay, however you are not willing to do so and should not be expected to, and then ask why they didn't step up to do so. Not the asshole, she embarrassed herself. She made herself look bad in front of her friends. Those same friends who not one said, I got this for you. And why was it up to you to cover her? There were other people there. I would have stayed, sorry, I only have enough to cover my meal, as I was not expecting to cover anyone else's. Not the asshole, she doesn't know her friend's financial situations well enough to rely on this and should disclose that she doesn't have her wallet before ordering. What if you only had enough in your budget for you or had bills set to come out tomorrow morning? I personally have a tick where I need to feel mine in my pocket before I am willing to place an order so I don't understand how this could be unintentional. Also you are allowed to set boundaries, even if you can cover the expense. She knows damn well she's putting people on the spot. Am I the only one wondering if this chick also forgot her phone? Most all of us have Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, something to transfer money for exactly this situation. You are not the asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my sister I'm not watching her kids after I said I would? My sister was unemployed for almost two years after a layoff. She got used to being home with her two children. My sister and her husband are tight on money. My sister asked me about watching her kids while she starts a new job since I'm a stay-home mom. I said yes at first. But my sister handed me a list of rules. Things like a daily schedule that would seriously upset my own children's daily routine. Then she gave me an approved menu for her kids and what I can and can't feed them because they are on a healthy whole food diet. I flat out told my sister this isn't going to work and I'm not going to watch your kids. My sister offered to buy the organic whole food. I told her no that's not the point I'm not making your children separate lunches and I'm not going by your schedule. I'm watching the kids for free. They get what they get. That's it. My sister said she would find something else but didn't expect inflation on childcare services to be so high. She reached back out to me asking for a compromise because it will disrupt her children's schedule if I don't follow it and the food I make my children might give her a tummy ache. I told my sister there's no way in hell this is going to work and I'm not watching her kids now or never because she's being such a diva. My sister complained that what is she going to do she starts her new job on Monday. I told her maybe don't act your children are royalty when you can't even afford a babysitter. My sister hasn't talked to me since and my mom has tried to talk to me about the situation but even mom agrees she wouldn't watch those kids with all of my sister's unrealistic demands. Not the asshole. If she wants a nanny, then she can pay for a nanny. Even professional childcare services or a center, would have their own schedule the kids would have to adapt to, and if there was a special diet, the parent would have to prepare and send it with the children. If she's expecting you to do more than a childcare provider for free, then she needs a major reality check. I wouldn't even consider it at this point, because it'll turn into pure hell even if she says she'll compromise. Do you really want to get lectured every time she picks up the kids? I'm watching the kids for free. They get what they get. That's it. She wants nanny level care for free. Folding them into your routine, lifestyle is completely reasonable, especially since you aren't being compensated. You are not the asshole. She's asking way too much. I love the compromise. The sister offered to purchase the organic food after op rescinded the offer to babysit due to the ludicrous demands. She was totally going to expect op to cover that cost quietly. She was going to take advantage of op every possible opportunity she could, especially now that she knows how much that level of detailed childcare costs. Even your mom wouldn't agree to those demands, so she should just drop it instead of continuing to talk to you. Your sister is a choosy beggar. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Why would her kid's schedule be more important than yours? You are the one offering a free service. Stand your ground on this. She is desperate yet makes her demands. I can only imagine what kind of nightmare this will become if you cave in. Not the asshole. Newsflash. Her kid's routine is going to be seriously disrupted by taking them to daycare or bringing them to your house or anything short of a full-time nanny. Routines are disrupted every time they change grades or schools. Kids adapt, and frankly adapting is one of the things they need to learn how to do. Your sister is asking for an unreasonable amount of control over your household and your routine. 
especially when you're doing her a favor for free. Watching kids is already a big responsibility, and adding a list of strict rules and demands is over the top. Am I the asshole for telling my husband he and his mother ruined out wedding day for me? I, 35F, got married to my husband, M41, recently. Neither of us liked the spotlight so agreed on a small event. The only thing I was firm about was I didn't want photos. My self-esteem is in the toilet. In the last 18 malleants I have put on weight, I am not looking to make excuses but there are some reasons why. 1. In the last 18 milliots I have lost both parents and my grandmother. I have lost two jobs and had a miscarriage. Depression has hit me hard at times and I have been comfort eating. 2. I was put on a new medication and weight gain is a side effect. 3. About a year ago I broke my left ankle badly. I have had three surgeries to date, the last one was 10 days before the wedding. I can't walk without pain. I really didn't want photos that would remind me of the fact I am now fat. Few weeks before the wedding my mother-in-law is talking about going to a local beauty spot for photos. I say no thank you and that yes I am being serious. My husband hears this and later that night I say again I really don't want photos and he says that is fine with him. Week before the wedding I am having the same conversation with mother-in-law and my husband. Day of the wedding my father-in-law and mother-in-law pick us up. I am no longer able to drive as I can't move my ankle. We get the whole legal shindig done and as we are going back to the car mother-in-law again says let's go to the beauty spot for photos. I again so no but she tells father-in-law to drive there and my husband just sits there. I know I gave him, the look, but total silence. Long story short the photos are taken and we head back. In the car driving home my mother-in-law starts showing me the photos and I hate myself in them. I look like a pile of fat shit. I look ridiculous in a dress with a medical boot and I can't stop the tears rolling down my cheeks. This upsets my mother-in-law and there is an atmosphere the whole rest of the day. I really tried to move on, but I had to get out of that stupid dress and all I really just wanted to hide away. Privately I told my husband him and his mother ruined our wedding day for me because all I can think of is those pictures. He said he didn't realize I was so serious about no photos, that it's only for his mum to keep and that he thinks I look beautiful. I told him that not 30 millions into our marriage he totally let me down and I don't know if I am beyond hurt or furious. He said I was being ridiculous and that I let him down by making such a fuss over a normal part of weddings. He also said I had hurt his mother, she has some mental health issues and has been obsessing over me crying on my wedding day, and that I need to reassure her she hasn't done anything wrong. I told him no and there will be serious problems if he tries telling her otherwise because as far as I am concerned they both totally ignored my one request and that was unacceptable. He thinks I am being a totally unreasonable aw, so am I being an asshole reddit? Why did you get out of the car at the beauty spot? I'd have sat there until everyone gave up. Not the asshole. Bulldozer Mill deserves all the bad feels she's feeling. She done fucked up, putting her selfish ones ahead of the brides. Why did you get married right now? What was pressing? You don't seem enthused to be getting married. It sounds like you're dealing with depression on top of your physical health concerns. So why get married in a dress you do not like, in a surgical boot, 10 days after surgery? That's the reason you didn't want pics. Because you didn't want to get married. Esh, esh, maybe your husband wanted photos of his wedding. The wedding is not all about the bride, let's get that straight. Also, you could have not gotten out of the car. Esh, your husband is right, photos are a completely normal part of any big life event and while I am empathetic to your struggles with your body to put a blanket rule of, no photos, down was perhaps unrealistic. Now that being said, your mother-in-law effectively trapped you into going to the studio for photos you didn't want and your husband didn't back you up. At the end of the day, the wedding is about you and your husband and if he was on side with wanting photos, he should have discussed that with you long before it made it to this point. Wow, everyone in this story sounds so joyful. Esh, why on earth are you even getting married? You do not sound any bit happy about any of the situation. The dress, the boot, the surgery, like you sound miserable with all of it.